Hey, what's up? What's up? Uh, hope everybody's having a good day. Um, today is Saturday, the 16th of November. It's about 4, 4 p.m. in the afternoon. Probably going to just put this up here for right now. Um, so today's going to be a, a quick recap of this past week. Uh, I'm just going to actually start on the daily. This is going to be super quick. I'm not feeling all the, the, the greatest today. So um, try to get some rest and... Uh, you know, hopefully I'll feel better tomorrow. But essentially, um, shorts all this week, as as we can um, see from daily. And I kind of wanted to point your attention to something. Um, I've got like a lot of annotations on this chart. So that's why I've got it off. That's why it looks so clean. <laughs> but let's see if uh, we could zoom in here and I want to show you something. And, and there will be some level of trust that's going to have to go into this. So this candle here, this is last Thursday. This is the 7th, okay? And if I put my ray right here above, all of the body closures are within this candle. So I talk a lot about four-hour candle ranges. Again, it's a fractal concept. It applies to every time frame within the, the right context, right? So... This would be classified going into this week, this past Monday, would have, um, well, technically it would have started on last Friday, the 8th. Um, this would have been a soup, okay, of, of the previous candle high. However, even coming into um, this week, Monday, Monday, again, just a wick rejection and a closure inside last Thursday's candle. So if you're looking at it from a candle range perspective, um, inevitably, with the soup, Wicks doing the damage, body telling the story um, from the previous week, you could have been looking at basically uh, a take of Thursday's low, the 7th of November, Thursday daily candle low. Um, so subsequently, we, we basically saw um, Monday through, obviously yesterday, we, we saw one-sided uh, price delivery here, where... Again, Monday souped the, the Monday souped the previous Friday and Thursday. It closed inside Tuesday. Um, if you were looking at from a weekly uh, profile perspective, you would have thought, okay, well we're gonna go back long from here. But the context just from the daily time frame would have given you something otherwise. So that just kind of being a framework. Let's look at the weekly, and uh, the weekly candle is pretty much gonna tell you everything that you need to know. All right. Same concept on the weekly. This is a soup on the weekly. And if you were looking for a confluence, a higher time frame confluence for, from a, a fractal uh, entry, you're looking at uh, last week's low as essentially your target. You're, you're essentially looking for this to complete long, long, long and short. So we, we've we will uh, essentially close well below 50% of uh, previous week, two weeks ago, candle uh, range. So the expectation is going to be to deliver to that low. So that kind of gives you the framework. So now let's go down to the four hour really quick. Um, and I'm going to take this off and then we're going to kind of try to zoom in here a little bit and uh, not make this look as bad as it looks. It looks kind of rough. So as you can see, basically, I've, I still have basically my opening range gaps, buy side liquidity, buy side liquidity. Um, this area actually tapped back into an area of fair value that was back here, which ultimately also coincided with uh, a Thursday opening day gap from October the 31st. So <clears throat> what could you anticipate from this four hour? Well couple of things you could probably anticipate is maybe we will see a little um, retracement back long again just from the higher time frame context not financial advice it's it's educational it, it could be whatever you want it to be but my overall expectation is to continue to see the shorts put in again looking at the weekly the weekly I would be looking for um, two weeks ago that previous low which would have been the fourth of November uh, for that week to be run out and oh by the way if we look back here 
that lines up with I, I think my, my head's in the way there we go so that would line up with this level back here so I've already marked it out and that would be again in line with what a 6 a.m. four hour candle range low so um, at this point you, you you can you can you can basically treat this one of a couple of different ways um, as you look and mark out levels I for one would be looking at maybe this and I know it's a 6 p.m. candle but again keeping the main thing the main thing um, this is a four hour candle but we've got essentially a closure inside this candle range so if you were just looking at a sample of price to say okay what could I reasonably target maybe going into next week you just say hey look I'm not so sure about what he said but maybe I just target this low just within the confines of this candle obviously you want to wait and see what what uh, what and how Sunday opens because my rule of thumb is always if I'm looking to go short I want to see you go long if I want to go long I, I need short so um, yeah, my bias is going to be short. That's my target, which is going to be down here for next week or throughout the course of next week or maybe the next couple of weeks until that objective is met. But, um, yeah, that's it. Super, super short and sweet this week. Um, maybe I'll hop on tonight and do like a crypto uh, live stream if I'm feeling better. But, um, yeah, that's it. So I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I uh, hope everybody was uh, profitable and successful last week. If you have any questions or any comments, please feel free to leave them in the, the comment section below. And, um, yeah, I just hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Have a great day, um, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.